And welcome to the next part of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. I think this is the first time in a walkthrough where we had two choices to pick from, man. And I'm going to pick Murray because Murray's definitely better than Bentley in my opinion. Here we go. Look at Murray. Wait, did this scorpion just stick me and Murray didn't even feel it? Ah, oh, damn it. I thought he was like invulnerable. Anyway, moving on. I am the Enforcer. Bam! Moving right along. Okay, Murray, the thief known as the Tiger is being held inside that taxi shop. My data shows the interior is small, but well reinforced. Also, there don't appear to be any guards inside at the moment. I think this one is pretty straightforward. You and Sly go in through the front door. After that, your muscles should be enough to handle the situation. No problem, Bentley. My mighty biceps are itching to go to work. Wow, he's right there. This is gonna be easier than taking pizza from a baby. I think you mean candy, buddy. Oh yeah, I love candy. I think we need to be careful here, Murray. Something feels off. I'm over here, Murray. Hey, Sly, where are we? I'm not sure, pal, but it looks like we found the secret entrance to something. Sly! Murray, come in! Are you there? Bentley? I think you're breaking up. Sly, I don't think I can get over this wall. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. And we seem to have lost the Banakicom link with Bentley. Don't worry. Let's just keep moving forward. Hmm. There's bound to be a way out around here somewhere. Hey, Sly! I see some kind of weird switch up here. I'm gonna give it a try. Go for it, pal. I'm kind of stuck right now anyway. Murray, you fat bastard. Look what you did. It's gonna turn me into Hippo Burger! Okay, Murray. Let me see if I can do something from my end. I'm on it, Murray. Let me show you how to do it. Can you kill these? Guess not. Shut up. Alright, let me see what we got here. I figured a sword should be able to cut that right in half. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> what an idiot. What an idiot. Oh, my God. 
This obviously makes a little more sense right here. going with this interesting looks like a bomb right there a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of that progress What am I doing? What am I doing? Ah, I'm not gonna make that. I was not gonna make that. Oh, come on. How are you gonna disappear as soon as I'm out to jump onto it? Nope. Up. Oh, yeah, boy. Don't even worry about it. more of this. Take a little break real quick. bit of that. Make it. That'll work. No problem. I hope that helps Murray out. Now we gotta backtrack all the way to Murray, man. Come on. Great! Time to inflict my fists on that trap! A little bit of that. A little bit of that. Shut up. Looks like we're going down. Sorry, sharks. The Murray's nobody's free lunch. Progress. These guys don't see a big ass hippo just running through the middle of the field, huh? I mean, come on. Take those cannons out first. Concentrate on the target. Light it up. These guys are throwing curveballs at me with the cannonballs, man. That's not a good look. I gotta get this cannon going. Eat it. Feel the firepower of the glory. Nice and easy. Moving on.
Tell me we're lifting a pirate ship up right now. Nice. Old sunken pirate ship. Way to go, big guy. I'll meet you on the other side. A little bit of that. Oh, nuts! Another one of those annoying, spinny things. I'll have to wait for Sly. Back to Sly. I don't even know what I was doing on that one. Don't even worry about it. Got an idea. Damn, <laughs> why am I trying to clear gaps? I didn't even see that line right there. But I just saw it now. Didn't even see it. Oh, really? You're an asshole. Why did you think that was ground right there? That's just not a good look. Let's try this again. A little bit of that. There we go. Sly, come in! Over! Bentley, nice of you to join us. Sly, are you and Murray all right? Something knocked out communications. Did you take a fall? Sort of. It's a long story. But are you seeing what I'm seeing? Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? It sure is. I can't wait to- Too bad you can't touch it. Wait, what? Sorry, Sly. If you touch anything, you're going to alert the guards. Just stepping on those coins could do it. You need to leave this treasure alone. And don't forget to use Salim's outfit to navigate the trickier jumps. That sucks. Can't even use none of this. Wow. All right, so what I thought I could do, right? Is you see that little post right there? I thought I could just jump right on that. That priceless treasure is Sinbad's legendary goblet. History tells us it was recovered by your ancestor, Henrietta One-Eye Cooper, the famous female pirate. But not until the year 1616. Taking it now could cause any number of anomalies to the time. Damn it. Why, that priceless treasure is Sinbad's legendary goblet. History tells us it was recovered by your ancestor, Henrietta One-Eye Cooper, the famous female pirate, but not until the year 1616. Taking it now could cause any number of anomalies to the time continuum and the Cooper timeline. You might even prevent yourself from becoming a thief. <laughs> Point taken. See, that wasn't so hard, man. I don't know why I was struggling so much. Murray should be good to go. Ooh. 
great! Time to inflict my fists on that trap! Ah, not doing so good this mission. All I know is that. Progress. Is this another ship? doing the running man all I know is that get away from me Try this again. Why, that ship is definitely sinking. Get moving. See, and then when I first jumped on the ship, why would it tell me to go backwards? This guy looks like Murray that time he won that burrito eating contest. That's a bad memory. Ugh, I couldn't ride in the van for months. Although, this is reminding me more of the time when Murray was brainwashed by the Contessa. However, this machine is using some kind of music to adjust his brainwaves and control his behavior. It's fascinating. In a completely obscene bad guy kind of way, of course. Well. I wouldn't mind having one of these to control Murray's appetite. According to my readings, it's too risky to just disconnect him. He might never come out of the trance. I need you to examine the device so I can hack it and shut it off. Hack job. Your job slide. Time for me to open up a can of whoop -asky. No, I want the other one. Laser oh, what is that? Perfectly on that switch. Yeah. 
A little bit of that, moving on. Warning. Ow, that one, ow. Yeah, boy, progress. Oh, that's where the key goes. Come on, man. Obviously. A little bit of that. This ought to do the trick. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. A little bit of that. And we're good to go. Nice and easy. That's David. Who are you? Relax, pal. I'm a friend of Salim's. Oh, Salim. Did he give you anything for me? Like all the money he owes me for betting on the camel races? Uh, sorry. You'll have to take that up with him. I most certainly will. And that is the end of this job, end of this mission, end of this part. Next part coming up soon.